it is around like 7.50, 7.45 on January 21st, I think. I actually don't know the date. Saturday morning. Are you getting cold, sweet? Do you want my scarf? set boundaries that was like my 2022 main thing is like how to set boundaries what does that look like how to communicate boundaries how to go about your work relationships and your friendships your relationships with your family members like how do you communicate a boundary or something that you're not okay with and it's been very difficult last year for me to then uphold the the boundary that I set because it's scary. It's like there's so much fear backing it of like, what if, you know, they don't want to be friends with me and like, what if so-and-so breaks up with me or if I like cause a little like tiz of, at work and, it, and it's like when you think about it, having been like just newly freelance, having just normal life circumstances, I've really noticed that um, that any point, any relationship you have where you can't communicate or someone has crossed a boundary with you or aligned with you is not a relationship that is meant for a long term or anything. Um, and that obviously like is so much easier said than done and it can be so so difficult especially when it's family and work and friends when it's just everything um, I'm gonna go put my face it's the acid potion it's the liquid exfoliator from moon juice do you see there we go um, so I did something, um, and it was like communicated a lot last year, and I had um, one of my like 
friends crossed a boundary with me. And it was a really difficult day. And I really took my time to think about it, what I was gonna say, how I was gonna say it, like whether it's in person or over text or do I call, um, do I need space or do I not? And one, um, I found it to be very refreshing that I was able to sit with the emotions that I was feeling um, and not feel like I'm gonna spiral or that I'm ready to like act immediately, you know, like I really was able to think first and act later, which is so good, very helpful. Um, the next thing I'm doing is this bomb. It's the Hydro Essence Lotion. It's amazing, it's kind of like a serum. Um, I put it on after like a toner or exfoliator and it just like really hydrates everything. And it's like a little, it goes a long way, so I don't even know, like you don't put that much. Um, so, one thing um, that I did, I have, I work on Saturday and Sunday morning babysitting and one thing that helped was I just tried to stay in the moment of what I was doing. Um, so just being with the kid, walking, we went outside a lot, we were listening to Elmo music, like I didn't call a bunch of my other friends to tell them what was going on, I just was like, I talked to one person about it and wrote, like, drafted the text I was thinking of sending, and that was kind of like, is this too mean or whatever, and that was it. And I think that it becomes a lot harder to uphold our boundaries when um, there's, like, drama backing it. Does that make sense? So, like, you know, if I were to go and, like, talk about it on TikTok or, like, give you the actual details here on YouTube, I think it ends up hurting the relationships more in the future where, yes, it is not okay what originally happened, but now my friend won't be able to trust me in the future because I went and like told everyone about what happened. When like they know they made a mistake, right now we're in a position where we can take some space and then our friendship can grow more in the future once we've taken our space, you know? I think you end up hurting yourself more. You end up hurting yourself more and you end up hurting the people around you more when your focus is to gossip, your focus is to add drama or be toxic in the situation. And like, there's a time and place for everything, and I think that's really important to understand. I always hated hearing that growing up. My dad would always tell me that. I was like, shut up. <laughs> but, um, it was a really good lesson, and I had a really good, this was on Saturday, a really good day on Sunday today because, because I chose myself and because I chose me over the drama, over like whatever the thing is, it's like even though bad things happen, there doesn't always have to be this dramatic addition onto it doesn't have to be a gossip column, doesn't have to be like all this stuff. You can deal with things like in a like closer to your heart than like please don't be like confused I'm not telling you to keep things in. And if you need to like vent to people, you should do that. But there's a difference between like venting to your friends or family or whatever or their co-workers versus like going public with something. Also sometimes maybe you just do need to go public. Like, you do you. I just love life. Oh, this was um, 
It's the Shiseido Benefiant Wrinkle Resist. Down here it's the Intensive Nourishing and Recovering Cream. This shit is so full of toxins and it smells like a lady, but she works. She works a lot. The Moon Juice and um, Balm products are pretty clean. Um, relatively, Balm is a Asian brand. Um, they're made in, it's made in Japan, this Japanese band, brand. Um, and Moon Juice is made in California. I just You know, everyone's on their own path and everyone is like maturing or figuring out stuff or learning in different ways at different times and like not everyone is always aligned with how like I do things. And not they shouldn't be. That's like they're their own whatever. But even if I acknowledge that like we're not in the same place, that doesn't mean you get to like Anyway, how are you? What are you doing? How was life? Um, have you done anything creative this week? Um, have you taken a photo out in public of people or of yourself or anything either with your phone or your camera? Um, I've been doing that more. I've been vlogging in public. and. Uh, and it's embarrassing and it's not, you know, like, it just kind of feels right, it feels good, but yeah, so, I don't know, I hope in the future Lo looks back on this, I really hope that she will be proud of her past self, because I'm very proud of how I handle Love you. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the week. Enjoy the year. Talk to you soon.